Well, this is the perfect spring day. It's the first day I've been out in a t-shirt and not a hint of the goosebump, but more importantly, it's the birds are telling me the spring has arrived. I've got tree pipits displaying up there on the hill. There's chiff chaffs in the wood. I've even seen them buzzards stooping over there. So it's definitely here, but there is something missing. There is a classic, a cliche of this time of year. There's a bird that we all know the song of, and that is the cuckoo. Where are the cuckoos? Well, that's exactly what the VTO are trying to find out. What's happened to them? In the last 25 years, their numbers have declined by over 65%. This is where I used to come 12 years ago and actually be able to hear, on average, I guess, around about four calling birds. That certainly wouldn't be abnormal. Oh, 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 oh. But now it's simply no fun because there's no birds to draw in anymore. There really is so few birds. I'd be very lucky, as I said, to find one bird on this hillside here. So what that means is our cuckoo is no longer the harbinger of spring for two reasons. One, there's hardly any of them here. And secondly, they're missing spring. Spring on average is coming three, maybe four weeks earlier. And our cuckoo is still bang on its original schedule, arriving around about now, the 9th of April. So what's going on? Why is this decline occurring? Why is the cuckoo missing its moment? Well, we think it's got an awful lot to do with all the complexities of our cuckoo's life cycle. There are so many variables, so many strings supporting its existence that trying to unravel them is a challenge. It's a challenge though that the BTO have to take on if they are to help this declining bird. So let's look at some of those problems that this cuckoo may be having. It's host species, it's top three host species. The dunnock, the meadow pipit, and the reed warbler. Some of those are declining as well. Maybe the cuckoo's decline is simply a knock-on effect of that. But maybe it's also to do with that earlier coming of spring. You see, our cuckoo is missing spring. Maybe its host species has started breeding earlier, and the cuckoo is missing out on that particular stage in the life cycle in which it parasitizes the nest of its hosts. But also think about the food its host will be thanklessly, or should be thanklessly, stuffing into the gullet of our parasitic cuckoo chip. The caterpillars, the insects, the grubs, um, they're also emerging earlier on as well, so there's another mismatch there. All of these, all these very complex variables, could be having effects on our cuckoo numbers. One thing we haven't even mentioned is where the cuckoo spends almost the rest of its life cycle. It's somewhere between here and sub-Saharan Africa. This is where the BTO's expertise comes in because they've got to unravel the very strings, the threads of these very complex life cycles. We need you to support, donate, help out in any way you can the BTO's Out of Africa appeal. If you care for your cuckoos or any of your African migrants, please, please help out.